Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to Subnautica News. Yes, I know it's crazy, but there's actually new stuff for Below Zero. Now, this is not actually an in-game update, but something the developers want to do in the future. Donya just posted on the official Subnautica Discord server, we're looking to make some improvements to vehicle docking in Below Zero. If you have a moment to complete the survey, we'll be grateful. Alright, so let's take a look at the survey, shall we? Now the first question is, what is the typical number of modules you have attached to your sea truck? For me, it's like 3 to 4, and I think what they're trying to do is make a new moon pool that supports your modules for your sea truck as well. Currently, they just get detached and kind of left behind, so I assume they just want a way for you to bring those modules in the moon pool as well. The next question is, please rank the following features by how excited you would be to see them in a new vehicle dock. So this basically confirms that they're looking at making a new moon pool. And let's take a look at the different options. Direct storage transfer between dock vehicles and the vehicle dock via a console. Now, I personally am just fine with taking out the items manually, but it would of course be a cool quality of life feature. Ability to access sea truck modules when the sea truck is docked. Uh, yeah, that would kind of be useful because <laughs> I really don't feel like undocking my sea truck just to put in some modules Which I crafted in the moon pool itself. So this is pretty important Customize each individual sea truck module with colors or textures now This would of course be amazing. You could like have a rainbow sea truck What I'm curious about is the wording here. Uh, it says colors or textures As far as I'm aware you can't texture your sea truck. You can only change the colors so, if this is what I think it is, then we might be able to actually have full-on textures for our sea truck, like camouflage textures, for example. And I would love that. Next up, automatic module reattachment on undocking. This would be perfect, especially if the modules get detached when you go into the moon pool, and pretty important because it's just annoying if you constantly have to reattach your own modules. Module order management while docked. So, I assume this means that you can rearrange the order of the modules they are in so if you for example dock it with your sea truck then a aquarium module sleeper module and then a storage module you could go to a console and rearrange them to be sea truck storage module sleeper module and then the aquarium module i think this would be pretty cool but not really that necessary automatic vehicle repairing i really don't think this is necessary you can just take your welder and weld it while you're in the moon pool i don't think this is anything we need and last but not least, vehicle decals unlocked through collecting posters. I have absolutely no idea what this is supposed to mean. I don't know what decals are and I couldn't figure it out, so if any of you guys know, please make sure to let me know in the comments down below. The next question is, how important to you is it that you can enter the moon pool from multiple approach angles? So I think what they're talking about here is that you could enter it from the front, from the top, from the left, from the right, the bottom, all of these different angles or if you could only enter it from one side, like we currently have only the bottom. Now to me, I don't think it's very important because you can just rotate the moon pool to make sure it goes in the right direction, but of course it would be pretty decent to have that as well. And last but not least, would you enjoy a more cinematic docking and out docking animation or a quick and snappy one? Now I don't think Subnautic is about time at all, so I would really like the cinematic version, the fancier the better basically. Now these were all the questions, but I have a few ideas I want to share with you. I made this quick mock-up of what a moon pool could look like with these features. Now again, I just put this in Photoshop and messed around with it for like 10 minutes, so it's not too great, but it's an idea. So if any devs are watching, hi, you can use my ideas if you want to. <laughs> this is what I came up with. This is basically two large rooms stacked on top of each other, working as a massive hangar. The front portal is what you enter through with your sea truck, and there is no water inside whatsoever. Once you enter, robotic arms just grab your sea truck and hang it up in the air so you can walk under it and repair it if you need to. If you want to get out, you just get in your sea truck and arms push you out backwards. This way, they could also rotate and rearrange the modules inside the moon pool, which would be pretty cool. And of course, this would support like three to four modules, so pretty average if I do say so myself. Another option would be a circular moon pool where you enter through the bottom and arms grab you and detach all the modules. You could then make the arms rearrange the modules as you please and once you exit again, the arms are reattached and you get dropped at the bottom. I couldn't come up with a concept for this one because I'm really not good at art and I couldn't really think of any base pieces that visualize this well, 
But these are my two ideas for what the new moon pool could be like. If you have any other ideas, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Maybe the devs will read them and take some inspiration from you. But what do you think about this? I am really excited for this new moon pool, at least if that's what it is. Then again, I am like 90% sure that that's what they're doing. I'm also really glad to see that they're still making updates to the game after it came out. They kind of just dropped the original Subnautica game, which I really did not like. But this is a great direction. If you'd like to support me, I have Patreon, merch, or you can just like and share this video with your friends and subscribe. Huge shout out to my Aki Code leaders, Callum Woolley, Capital Clyde, Jeff the Sea Dragon, Just Arkeo, and Morgan Panda. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Good bye!